Hello YouTube, Sam Revolution here, and today we have a a little bit different of a video. Um, I had a request for uh, like a demonstration slash uh, tutorial on the advanced formations, uh, so that's what this is gonna be about. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna jump in, and we're gonna start off with the infantry here. Um, got the Ashigaru Musketeers. Um, so yes, the standard one here is a uh, volley mode. Which uh, is the one that's used every time. Oh, you are not attacking my base. No way. Alright, we'll send the cavalry for that. Um, but yeah, standard volley mode <laughs> is uh, the main one. And that's what you want to stay on majority of the match. Um, the other ones here are stagger mode, uh, melee mode, defend mode, and then uh, stand ground. Uh, so we'll go to stagger mode, uh, which is a little bit interesting. Um, what it does is it supposedly spreads your guys is out or something like that yeah extra spacing helps avoid like that look at that that's not spaced out um, but apparently that helps you uh, get less hit from cannon fire uh, so mainly forts is what you use that you will use that for if you do use it um, I don't use it too much but uh, it could be useful I guess if you're like sieging the fort I guess or something like that you know you need some extra protection but um if you're trying to run away from cannons don't use this at all because uh, you'll get slaughtered because they're so slow you want to use that uh, regular form so I can march out really quick um, the next one here is melee mode and uh, this is of course when uh, the cavalry come in you need to fight them off with your bayonets and uh, that's what this is for they uh, pull out the bayonets and march together in a group um, pretty useful uh, you don't want to use this like as soon as you see cavalry you don't want to like charge in instantly uh, you mainly want to use it when you're next to cavalry, and uh, you need to attack it then. Um, these guys are out of coin. But yeah, so this is good against cavalry. Go see if we can find some cavalry. Um, you go scout. Find some cavalry for me. And I can show you guys the difference, maybe. Maybe there. Um, next one here is defend mode. and uh, This is basically with a square formation, as most people know it as. Uh, good for mortars or cannons in the middle, especially uh, H3, I think, in my opinion, because uh, you can get the pikes around uh, your artillery, and then you can easily blow away enemy infantry. Um, so let's see if we can get the uh, square around those guys. And while I'm at it, I need to get one of these. Alright, but yeah, as you can see there, it, they protect the uh, artillery, and you need to move them separately, you can't put them in the same group because uh, the artillery don't have a defend thing of their own. So if you're around like this, it'd be pretty useful for protecting your artillery. Um, once again, you could easily do the same thing, like put them together like that, but uh, it puts them in front and not around them, so it kind of ruins the purpose, I guess. I'm um, gonna get over here. You are not cool, bro. All right. So yeah, that's mainly the infantry. And the uh, last one here is stand ground. Uh, I mean, I don't really use this one at all. Um, I guess you could use it. All it does is defend the area, so if someone comes by, I'll shoot it, but it'll stay in this area as well. Um, so, I mean, if someone comes by your area, you kind of need to go attack them or get some better walls or something, <laughs> because you're not doing your job there. Um, but the next thing here we're going to do is go to our cavalry, and uh, we will send these guys off and go attack someone. We'll go attack Orange. And, uh, by the way, guys, I'm just doing a... Uh, free-for-all match here, um, just playing around. And, uh, yeah, so this is the cavalry units here, and we got our discipline Yabusame. So the regular cavalry is like this, uh, just melee attack mode. Very useful, good for getting settlers, all that stuff, nice and quick. Um, next one here is trample mode, and trample mode is... Some people overuse it, some people never use it, and you kind of got to find that good mix if you want to use it correctly. Um, what this is really useful for is against longbows or skirmishers or, uh, I don't know about obus guns, maybe obus guns. Um, but what it does is it, um, like, you take less hit, or like, you give the unit more damage, like, you attack better. But uh, in the process, it receives damage more. So it's, they die quicker, but they, they do the opposite either way. So, um, that's how we use it. Like, you don't want to use this against musketeers, you'll get absolutely slaughtered. Um, that's not a good idea, but as you can see, um, V formation is the idea here. Uh, very nice and handy, uh, especially against the light infantry, as I said earlier. We got the defend mode, and this is what 
you want to do for cavalry, <laughs> especially if you're Russia, you'll you'll know this one. So this is the standard defend mode with your uh, big box here, and what we're gonna want to do is get one um, like ranged cavalry unit and put it inside your um, square mode. So uh, it, this is what it normally looks like, yes, but uh, as soon as you put this. Uh, Yabusama here into defend mode. Let's watch what happens when we use the entire group. Bam! Look at that. That is overpowered in a box, literally. Especially for Russia, this is just, this is your late game, like seriously. Um, I don't really know why. Why does this happen? I don't know. What they want to do is protect the guy so he's get as close to the guy as possible. Um, so what you want to do is just put this in a control group and then uh, you can literally just go around and tear down buildings like it's nothing. Um, especially if you're the Russians. But uh, they're pretty decent nonetheless as uh, any other nation. Um, what are we going to send in here? Let's send in one of those. Um, how would our musketeers do? Pretty decent. Pretty bad. Oh, why? You're literally right next to their thing. Attack. <laughs> that was weird. All right, um, but yes, that's what this is for. Uh, we'll go in here and take down this town center. You can see how fast it takes down. And uh, the reason it's really useful is because they stay close together when they first do their first store against the town center, and uh, that does some serious damage against it. So uh, especially factories as well, um, very useful. So uh, yes, that is the cavalry and the infantry. We're gonna move over to the ocean. Uh, there's just a couple things we need to go over here. And uh, first thing here, as you can see, we'll take the uh, broadside attack. And um, that's kind of a special ability, I guess you could say. As you saw, it did one huge volley against the ship and uh, did extra damage on that. Holy cow, we've got a billion sheep. <laughs> um, why are they standing there? That's weird. Oh yeah, the fending formation. That's what the fending formation does. They just stand there. But uh, yeah, that's what the broadside attack does. It's extremely useful when you first get into battle. You want to do some serious damage, and you can see here it'll take down this ship in like one hit. Look at that. 1%, 7% or whatever uh, health. But um, yeah, that's mainly the um, advanced formations. The only other one I can think of is for artillery, and uh, I'll go over that real quick. Where's our artillery? Here we go. We got our uh, mortars here. And uh, what you're gonna want to do? Let's let's actually send in some culverins. Let's send in culverins. All right. So when we're gonna send some culverins, um, I'll show you the better example. But uh, for artillery, you either have your fire mode or your uh, limber mode. And the uh, the fire mode is obviously for firing. Um, if you have mortars like these, if you're Japan, uh, all their artillery is pushed by people. Like there's no horses. Or anything like that and it's not carried so you're always gonna be in fire mode for that and uh, that's what this is demonstrating right here it doesn't matter which way I put it they're gonna travel the same distance and speed whatever um, but it's really useful for uh, the other mortars like the European mortars and um, the culverins slash European artillery so I'm gonna send in right here and we will see okay, he's resigning. May I resign now? Okay, we'll send in this one right here, the brigade, and um, that'll be a good demonstration. Holy cow, everyone's resigning. Um, but yeah, if you guys haven't noticed, uh, I got a new I microphone. I don't know resign. if I'm going to send this one in before my other video. I have an R uh, Russia video that I want to put in here. And uh, I don't know which one's going to be first. So which one runs first? Please leave some comments on what you think of the microphone and uh, stuff like that. But uh, yeah, one more thing here as our, we wait for our culverins is the long range bombardment attack, otherwise known as mortar ship overpowered. <laughs> but um, what you do here is you have to get a mortar ship, or, a great, or what are they called? Monitors, yeah. I, I just call them mortar ships because they are mortar ships. But um, what you have here is a long range bombardment attack, and this can shoot for miles. Like, this could probably hit this building here, uh, but I'm just going to do it on here for your regular uh, view. So what you can see is it can't fire from here, like it's not far enough. I mean, it's not close enough. Oh god, they just ran away. No! Where's my Billy? Yeah, she's gonna go find me. Um, but what this does is it does one really powerful, uh, like, aerial strike. And we'll do it right here, right in the middle of that. And let's see what happens. Look at that. It did a huge, uh, not a huge damage, but it did a pretty good damage on the, uh, Sellers there and now they're running for their lives, but if you did this against buildings, it does serious work to buildings. 
Um, so I highly suggest doing this to people's factories and stuff like that. Uh, it's really good to do that against. But um, yes, I believe our culverns came in. Yes, I did, along with some dragoons. Uh, oh, horse artillery. <laughs> Even better, okay. So we got horse artillery here. This is going to be great. Um, let's get these guys over here. Alright, so we have our horse artillery here. Um, they're currently in limber mode. And as you can see, this one can travel very quickly because of the uh, horse. And uh, it goes much quicker than it would be if it was in limber mode. Or, I mean, bombard mode. And uh, we're going to put it in bombard mode now. There we go. He's taking the cannon out, and now the cannon is ready to fire, and as you can see, he has to push it much slower than, um, as it was in the limber mode. Look at speed difference. Um, so that's the difference there. Obviously, it has to be in, um, bombard mode to fire, and, uh, limber mode is for easy carrying. And, uh, one last thing that I thought of right here is the genites, um, which are the, uh, dragons. But, um, if you have horse artillery, I don't know why you would want to do this. Um, you could go melee mode, and uh, he'll obviously go up and start uh, using his knife against um, enemy units, or you can do the uh, fire mode, and uh, you want to keep it on fire mode. Um, so, overview for this is, uh, we'll go to the uh, infantry here. Infantry, you want to keep on the regular volley mode for the majority of your match, and then uh, if you do see some cavalry, you want to go into melee mode. Um, only in rare occasions you want to do the defend mode. It'll bring the square out and uh, be easy to, easier to defend um, units. So that's the infantry, uh, cavalry. Here we go. The square mode is, or the defend mode here with the square, is really fun to use. It's uh, extremely effective. Highly recommend it if you play as Russia. Um, and I mean any civilization really. It's good to get your guys condensed and get through a short spot if you need to. Um, that's what you do there. Uh, otherwise than that, I highly suggest melee mode for the majority of your attacks. Um, and then you use the uh, trample mode if you're up next to uh, light, light infantry and stuff and you want to take them down pretty quickly. And then um, the other ones, we said this uh, ship here has the uh, regular attack thing. Uh, and then you use your broadside attack and that does much more damage. Boom, look at that. Ship's gone instantly. Um, and then last but not least, we have our... Oh, there are horse cannons. Um, obviously, limber mode moves them quickly, and then the uh, bombard attack mode uh, makes them fire at their cells. We'll show you that. Let's fire. Fire in the holes. So we're close here, and boom. Oh, he's gonna. It's gonna take too long. But uh, yeah, sometimes if you do have a like a long distance to travel, it'll automatically put it into limber mode um, because it, it knows that it'll be much quicker to attack if you put it in limber mode. Uh, let's get this fire off here to end the video. Come on. There go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh my god. No! Too far. Boom! There we go. That's how you end the video. So, uh, thank you guys for watching this. Uh, if it helped you out, please leave a comment below. Uh, hopefully I helped the guy out who suggested this. And, um, yeah, that's the end of the video. So, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys later.